What is up, everybody? How's it going? It is Matt, and it is Terrifying Tuesday. Uh, first and foremost, I do always wish that you guys are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, whenever it is you're watching this. Uh, I hope you're having a good time with some family, friends, loved ones, doing whatever it is that makes you happy in life, because that's what's most important, because life's short enough as is. So uh, uh, life sucks if you go through it without uh, having any fun once in a while. And my idea of fun is is uh, uh, watching a good movie. And uh, today's is a bad movie, but it is so good. It's uh, like... Ah, oh, it's insanely fun. Uh, it's one you got to see to believe. Um, before we get there, please do like, share, and subscribe, guys. Uh, do always, always, always look in the description box. There's always going to be some sort of information in there for you to read over, such as the starring cast, the director, the runtime of the cut I am watching, uh, brief synopsis, uh, some trivia, if there is some that is warranted, which uh, I will We'll get to some trivia on this one. Uh, it's uh, uh, an interesting one. Now, this one came out back in 1974, so it's 46 years old now. It's uh, quite the uh, quite the uh, 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 journey it's had since then. Uh, it is what I would call a perfect. Uh, a perfect representation of what grindhouse films are, what uh, exploitation films were of the 70s. Uh, it, this is definitely a perfect example of something that came along that can that was just insane, but a it uh, could have really been a, a real uh, a big contender if it, if it had the uh, opportunity to be in some mainstream budget, I feel, uh, because this one is so entertaining. But it's not good it's it's a bad 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 movie like uh uh one that i will say that is not the best thing in the world but i do absolutely love and adore it and this cut is running at there's two different cuts on this one the uh uncut releases uh, uh or uncut uh version is one hour and 28 minutes and there is a french cut on here as well which doesn't have um a uh, french French dialogue or anything like that. It's just a copy that they were that they found and that is a French French uh, release because it was a uh, a very hard movie to find to track down a a good copy of this one to clean it up. Uh, it really shows on this one. It's it's very degraded. Uh, uh, it's it's um, kind of distracting in places, but then again, when you think of, uh, when you open up your mind to the uh, Grindhouse experience, uh, I, ex I, I personally expect some pops and crackles in there. It's like kind of listen to an old record player. Uh, it's it's I, th I feel like it should have that graininess to it. It should have scratches here and there. Uh, the quality should be a little better, but um, I completely 100% understand why this one's quality isn't quite the best. It is a very uh, obscure film for sure. Uh, one that it just got a release like uh, last week, I believe it was. But uh, they did do a special edition of this one that came out... Uh, uh, a few months ago, which which is just it was insane. It went out insanely fast. I should have grabbed one while I could, but uh, I decided to wait until they had the uh, regular release because I'm not really big on the whole slipcover ordeal. That's one of the big things that was about the uh, the other releases. It did have a slipcover. Now, this movie that I am talking about is none other than The Amazing Mr. No Legs, a.k.a. Mr. No Legs, a.k.a. Killers Dies Hard, Dies Hard, Killers Die Hard, a.k.a. The Destructor. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that, that I can think of off the top of my head. This one is got, has quite the uh, uh, resume of, of names for it. But then again, that was a lot of those exploitation films of the time. They
they they ran under several different titles. Sometimes uh, regional, it would change regional, like or, or regionally, and then sometimes it would uh, uh, change continentally as well. Because uh, uh, sometimes there's already a movie with the name there, or they don't they don't like the name, or or the name is not catchy enough. Uh, which what is not catchy about the name Amazing Mister No Legs, guys? Come on, say it with me, Amazing Mister. No legs. <laughs> Isn't it fun just to say it? It just kind of rolls off the tongue, and it's it's just I really like it. It's one that uh, uh, I could say over and over again. Amazing, Mister No Legs, or just call it Mister No Legs. That's what I call. I call it No Legs. I don't even throw the Mister on there. Um, now this one stars Richard Jekyll. Uh, Ron Slinker, Lloyd Bachner, Rance Howard, who you should know for, um, uh, 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 he's done a ton of movies, but he is, um, Ron and Clint Howard's father, uh, which if you don't know who Ron Howard is, I do suggest looking him up. The guy is a, uh, I would say a very talented director, uh, doesn't make, not really my style of movies. I do like Apollo 13. I believe that was his, but, uh, um, uh, I, I, it's not really my style, but I do see why people do enjoy them. There is a, there is a higher quality of film there. Uh, it, uh, is, is, uh, uh, in a league of its own, in my opinion. Much like Mr. No Legs. Uh, and then we got Joey Chitwood in here, and, uh, uh, yes, it is spelled J O, J O I E. Yeah, that's really weird. Different way of spelling it. But Joey Chitwood it was known as one of the uh, the greats for as far as car chases, car stunts of the 70s. The guy did a lot of crazy stuff. I'm pretty sure he did some stuff in the 80s. I'm not, I didn't uh, check and see if he's still alive or not, if he lived long enough to get into the 80s. Because the guy is, uh, done, he does, does some insane stunts in this. And not to mention, he has his crew. I forget what the name of them is all of a sudden. It's like the Daredevils or something like that. Uh, the, the Devils, I don't remember. Dang it. Oh, gosh. I wish I would have. I wrote it down because I wrote it down, actually, and I left it upstairs, which is a bummer I because I wanted to uh, mention it. Uh, anyways, um, maybe it says on. Mm, no. Um, and then who else do we got on here? We got John Agar and then none other than Ted Volrath who plays Mr. No Legs himself, who is a, was a, uh, uh, decorated Korean War veteran, uh, got his legs both, both of his legs blown off in, in, with, from a mortar shell during, during a siege in Korea. Uh, very insane to think. Uh, he later became a, Grand Master of Karate. Uh, how true is that? I don't know. The guy has been long deceased, uh, but he definitely has the look. He he could have made more movies. I feel like uh, made a. Yeah, you can't make a sequel to this one. I'm sorry. There's no sequel worthy on it because um, uh, Mr. No Legs, who is a bad guy, my, by the way, he is a drug kingpin enforcer. So do keep that in mind. Bad Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. <laughs> but this is uh, from the this is uh, from Massacre Video. They got the logo up here instead of down in the corner. Uh, but it is a Massacre Video release. Um, I, I like their stuff for the most. Uh, the last one I, I reviewed for them was The Devil, which is a very fun. Uh, uh, I believe that came out of Hong Kong. Very fun flick that uh, I that was one of those I had trouble finding a trailer for or a scene for the movie. I think that one I only did a scene for the movie because the trailers were just hard to find a link for one uh, uh, this just happens once in a while but yes, there there is a link for a trailer for this one. It is not the best quality trailer, but it you get the gist of what the movie is, and it's uh, the quality of this is just a rung a couple of rungs above that. So so don't but don't expect some some crazy uh, uh, like 4K scan because it's not gonna it's not gonna look like that.
Now, as far as uh, uh, the the release goes itself, it is the standard per issue pressed Blu-ray, uh, and that does have a reversible artwork, which is kind of a fun one. Uh, I imagine this is probably one of how it looked uh, in the '70s. One of their original artworks they did. Uh, I happen to like this artwork more just because um, when I first heard about this movie about 10 years ago uh, not even not 10 years ago probably about seven eight years ago excuse me folks um, when I first heard about this movie this was the cover artwork that I saw this is what drew me in um, besides the name of it and the uh, premise of it which is is just crazy to think that there's a man with no legs who is a enforcer for drug kingpin uh, how that happens uh, basically the, this uh, guy was he was an enforcer all the while uh, was a badass um, happened to lose his legs in a a uh, 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 gang war type thing during the this is in the movie not not in real life um because he was he he's the guy that lost him in the korean he's the korean war veteran uh which by the way he served during the the uh, marine corps which is one of the one of the the they're like the first to go and the last to leave they're always there during anything any kind of conflict you can get almost guaranteed that the marine corps will be there uh fun fact for the day i almost joined the marine corps back when i was a teenager uh i went through junior ROTC and thought that was the place for me. Uh, instead, uh, I got into other things and started hanging out with different crowds, listening to different music, uh, becoming a different person, essentially going through that whole change. <laughs> because I could have signed in and listed when I was 17 years old, 16 years old, something like that. You can sign your, sign your letter of, of intent. But uh, anyways, uh, uh, that was a fun fact for, for about Matthew for the day. Now, uh, and then we got the Dricky, blah, 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 blah. the director's name is Rick Al Browning, Riku, 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 um, it's sp spelled R-I-C-O-U, yes folks, that is how it is spelled, uh, I've never seen that name ever like spelled like that in my entire life, which, um, Rance Howard is another, like, Rance is a weird name, uh, uh, the way Joey is spelled is different, uh, there's, there is a lot of different in this, this movie, it takes all types of, of, uh, Mm, excuse me, all types of things. Now, what is it about? It's about a... Uh, um, it first starts off with uh, uh, a guy that looks like Colonel Sanders rolling uh, cigars. It's a group of guys rolling cigars, and what they're doing is they're, they're putting drugs inside of them, and they're smuggling them into the U.S. and selling them. So that's what the, the, the setup for what, what we got going. Uh... One of the guys that is part of the job uh, of getting getting the product from the from where it's dropped off in the United States to its next location, which is is for uh, uh, Mr. D'Angelo. Um, uh, he is uh, um, basically there's three guys that called it a two part two man job, even though three guys did it, um, which is just blew my mind there's certain things about this that there are continuity errors like at one point one of the cops says oh my sister never dated anyone uh but then later on in the movie he, she's he, he's like he changes his tune and is like oh yeah that's the guy that dated my sister uh weird 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 um but that's neither here nor there but uh, uh they they open up with these guys smuggling in drugs uh one of the guys uh um girlfriends finds the drugs and and they have a a little bit of a struggle. Luke Halpin is the the uh, uh, the actor that plays that character, which uh, you should probably, if you're if you know old timey stuff, he is known for for the movie, the TV show Flipper. Uh, if you don't know that, check it out. It's a uh, fun little like family kids television show from from back in the 
60s, I believe, 66 through 60, 67 through 69 or something like that. Uh, it was it was a, a older show. It ran for like three seasons, if memory serves me correct. But uh, he was he's mostly known for that. Uh, he also did a great movie called Shockwaves, which I reviewed, um, I think, a couple months ago. I did it for Zombie Week, which uh, was a fun week. I did that for my good pal, Kyle. Uh, uh, he, he is a zombie fanatic, and I wanted to do something special for him. Uh, yeah. But anyways... Um, now, uh, 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 the, they have a little tussle. She falls and hits her head on the, the old television, which is one of, the, this is 1974. So it's one of those really old tube TVs that is gigantic and weighs a ton. Uh, so she smashes her head off of it and accidentally, or actually dies. Not in real life, obviously. But, uh, her character dies and, uh, he, the guy, Luke Halpin, freaks out, calls in Mr. No Legs. Mr. No Legs uh, cleans up, has Rance Howard go and clean up the situation, and they end up killing this kid in the, after everything is said and done. And the, the way they, they try to dispose of the body, they dump it off in this one area, they throw a needle and some drugs next to her, but before they do that, they inject some of the, uh, the drugs into her, into her body, into her system, which made me laugh, because it's like, that, that can't work, because you need a heart, heartbeat to, uh, pump that through your body, it just essentially is gonna go into, stay in that spot where he, he shot it into, it's not gonna, it's not, I don't see how it would show up in anybody's system, not unless they went for that spot and that spot only, which I don't see foresee that even back in 1974, which uh, uh, is one of the is basically our next setup is this the girl is her hus husband, uh, her sis brother, sister, husband and sister. Damn it. Brother. Her brother is a police officer, finds out that she she has died, and then is on a, a quest, ba essentially, with a, this dude right here, uh, Richard Jekyll. Uh, and they're looking for, trying to find out who who the uh, um, killer is and why they did it and, and how to stop them. And all the while, Mr. No Legs is becoming more and more... Um, vicious uh he wants to take over the 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 king he, he wants to take over the king's pin spot he wants to eliminate him and his partner who happens to be the chief of police uh it's one of those things that i'm not really telling you anything that you won't know uh it's very very um you find out early on that he's no good one of those kind of ordeals it has a weird ending to it it is as well he is he is uh ending to him it's very strange but um all the while he, he uh mr no legs wants to take out these guys uh a couple of other people like like he has a couple of pe or one other guy that works with him and he is basically his right hand man uh and so, basically, that's what the movie is about, is Mr. No Legs trying to take over the kingpin spot, and this officer trying to figure out who killed his sister. Which, um, obviously, it's tied in together that Mr. No Legs' crew is the ones that did it. Uh, uh, it's one of those, it's, it works together really well, it ties in, um, pretty good uh other than there's some continuity errors this one's this one's uh, uh they stick with it pretty well um this the story and the premise stays online on point now as far as any kind of rating goes on a technical side this thing's probably a two it's not very good on a technical side it it uh stays with its stick, typical story full of continuity errors there's there's stuff like i said earlier about about the whole boyfriend uh oh no she never dated anyone and then all of a sudden he's like oh yeah that's the dude that dated my girl my sister uh the, that was that's on a huge continuity error there there's just there's a few of them that really stick out and uh when you watch the movie you will see them obviously because uh uh they they're just that they stick out like a sore thumb so that's why i'm going to give it a two um now on an entertainment side this thing is a solid 
four for me at least it is I find this thing absolutely entertaining from beginning to end uh, I love everything about it uh, uh, from the the goofy side story with with mr. no legs and and him taking over the kingpin it's not goofy but it's it it's weird how it fits in there uh, there's a, a magical scene where three dudes come in they try to beat the shit out of mr. no legs and stop him he kicks all three of their asses all four excuse me it was four of them uh he he takes down all four of them and it is an epic scene a, a epic fight scene where he is kicking people with his stubs uh he is throwing people around he is at one point thrown into a pool but he br brings in his his uh, uh um attackers with him so he essentially takes them down inside the pool as well so it's you get to see what it's like for him to swim uh uh very interesting i wonder how how tall he ended up being after like his his height after after losing his legs uh, i wonder i just wonder because there's he looks big uh for for like he's like you would expect him to be very muscular upper body because he's got to be taking over this stuff holy shit guys it's 20 minutes i'm gonna get out of here so a six out of ten this is totally worth it uh check out uh amazing mr no lakes from massacre video and as always i love your faces um i, I will see you tomorrow